Welcome back to Digital Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpoff, your host. Again, we're talking about digital marketing with marketing experts from around the country. And today we're in Lexington, South Carolina with Danielle Savalos from Kelly Roach Coaching. And Danielle, welcome to our conversation today. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to chat. Well, we are excited to have you here. So to get us started, why don't you share with us how you got started in the digital marketing industry? Yeah, so it's kind of a long story. I'll make it short. But I, back in the day, was a blogger and uh, blogged just, we adopted our children. I blogged through that. I blogged a whole bunch of life when it was like really cool to be a blogger and um, just learned sort of the online world before it was a thing. And um, in that, I started to do copywriting for different business owners. Um, I learned all the ins and outs of direct copy and how to uh, create compelling copy across marketing channels. And that led me to start my own copywriting business and then to my current role where I'm now the chief marketing officer um, for a global brand uh, because I had just studied that process of marketing through getting in there and diving into everybody else's copy and what they needed. So Again, long long story short, it was a quick path of just learning as I went. Well, that's always the best way. And when you get those opportunities to really experience marketing and finding your, your way through it, especially with writing, especially with creating content, it really does teach mm -hmm. a lot of lessons along the way. Yeah. I mean, there's so much that you, there's only so much you can learn in theory. And um, I have a master's degree in something else that doesn't really apply to this. And so uh, it's really not until you get in there, start learning. And so specifically with marketing, when you really learn to understand your your audience, your market, your target people, um, that's where all of the magic happens. And you can't really do that in your head or in a classroom. You've got to just get out there and do it. Absolutely true. So with your company right now, Kelly Rush Coaching is well known and obviously you're helping a lot of businesses around the country. So tell us exactly what you do. Yeah, so our company right now, there's a couple of different things that we do. Uh, namely, we have a coaching company focused on helping entrepreneurs. Um, typically, they're at like low six figures all the way up to multiple millions per year, scale their business and do it in a way that is in alignment with their values and who they want to be in the world, not just, you know, grow quickly and make a lot of money. Uh, so our, our target market is really service-based entrepreneurs. We have people in hundreds of different industries from, you know, healing and spirituality all the way to real estate investing and everything in between. Um, we've had countless clients scale from six to seven figures and even some scale from seven to eight figures. So that's been a really incredible journey to be on with our clients. Um, and then we also have a marketing agency. So this actually was born out of a need that our clients kept coming to us saying, can you do our marketing? We want somebody to do our marketing. So we finally started our own in-house marketing agency where we do social media, PR, email marketing, content marketing, strategy, all of those things as well. Which comes very handy because small businesses really do have that need, and especially when you have the right person guiding them in the process to share with them exactly what directions they need to do and what pieces they need to implement. Having that tool in, in the arsenal really is uh, an incredible easier way to, to get things accomplished and to have other eyes monitoring it to make sure that uh, it's being implemented successfully. Yeah, for sure. And the, the market changes so quickly. It's really difficult if you are an entrepreneur who does something else that's not marketing to stay up to date with these things that change. And so either you've got to bring people on internally who can do that or hire someone externally that is fully focused on staying up to date with what's working and understanding how to communicate your message in an, in a constantly changing world. And it really is constantly changing. And there's a lot of different moving parts that a lot of small business owners don't know before they get started. And that kind of leads them into different directions that they do need some guidance. But if you were speaking to someone who was just starting out in digital marketing, what kind of advice would you be giving them as the one thing they really need to be focusing on? So it's probably a little different than other people would share, but I think when you focus on solely learning digital marketing, you really lose out on the timeless principles of just good marketing. Uh, when you get really 
uh, you know, consumed with sort of the shiny objects of the online world without the foundational understanding of why people do what they do and how to communicate effectively with those people, you really build a shaky house, right? You build a great Instagram account, but you don't know why it's working. You don't know what to do when it stops working. So my greatest advice for anyone who's new to marketing is learn your people, learn why people do what they do, learn how people make decisions in your market and understand how to effectively communicate your unique value in the market and how you can help people. When you know those things, you can begin to apply them to whatever the new digital platform is going to be because it's always changing and everything's different. You need to understand the foundational uh, just basic principles underneath marketing in order to be effective in digital marketing. And then you can learn the skills of digital marketing. It's very true. Foundational information is always key and will really get you into different, uh, different paths that, that will be successful as, as long as you put on the right pieces together. Um, yeah. What are the types of, I guess, when, you're, when, when a client is being onboarded for your company, what are the type of questions that you're asking to help really tell their story and, and find the direction? Yeah, I think when we look at bringing people into our coaching company, even into our marketing agency, number one, it's really important to start with their specific goal. A lot of times people, especially in our space, like they, they've grown their business one way and they just sort of plug and play people, right? Like, well, I did it this way, so I'm just going to plug you into my method. Not really taking into account that maybe this person has a different goal. Maybe they're not trying to build the exact same style company we are. Maybe they don't want to have a $100 million company. Maybe they just want to make a million dollars every year in their business and live a really, you know, free lifestyle. So our very first, you know, onboarding question is always, what are your specific goals? What are you personally working for? What does the ideal look like for you? Because we understand that it's going to be different for every person and we want to reverse engineer every piece of the strategy that's going to be put into place based on those specific goals. So that's number one. Number two, we always want to look at the core areas of your business. Do you have a dialed in sales system? Do you have a consistent marketing strategy? Do you have the team in place that you need in order to scale? Do you have viable products and is there agility in your product suite? Those are all really, really critical components of scaling that most people don't even think about. They just want to build a new funnel or turn on a new ad set. So we want to make sure that you have the foundation. Are you? What's your lifetime value of the clients that you're bringing in? What's unique about your positioning in the market? So we want to look at what's already there. And then instead of changing everything, we want to say, what are the key levers that we can pull in your business right now? to start getting results as we build out the rest. Well, this is all very gr strong information that small businesses and small business owners really need to know and understand and, and really the right guidance that a lot of them need. So we thank you so much for sharing all of this and really for joining us today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And thank you all for joining us as well. Uh, there was a lot that Danielle shared with us and, and really having that right knowledge of people who can help get you in the right direction. People can keep you on course or put you back on course so that your business can, can succeed and you can be really happy and flourishing in what you're doing. Uh, there's a lot more information here on Daily Ad Brief, so please check that out and go and have a great rest of today. And we'll see you next time on Digital Champions.